We were talking about moms being stressed out, and the number one point of stress usually is their husband. We'll try that. <laughs> That's crazy. usually where it stems from most of the time. <laughs> WWE wrestler is in studio with us. David Otunga is here with us, man. And you know, you got a little guy at home with Jennifer Hudson. We were just talking about he's going to be turning four this yep. summer. And uh, are you a point of stress sometimes for Jay Hud or what, man? <laughs> like sometimes she's like, you know, just go out and hang out with your friends for a little bit tonight. Please give me a breather. I'm sure I am. I mean, I think most guys are. Yeah. And then sometimes she gets overwhelmed. She's like, can you just take your son to the park or something? Can they just, <laughs> she's I like, just, I, I need mommy go. time. I yeah. need a minute. Yeah. I, need a, I need a Manny <laughs> Patty. Let me just get this done. So we're pumped up, man. And David Otunga, this guy is so busy. He's from Elgin. He went to Lark, and I'm familiar with him. I'm from the western suburbs, and he's doing his thing down there. Uh, he is a Harvard grad. He's a lawyer. On top of it, WWE wrestler. He's busy, and it's so cool because he's dedicating a lot of his time to this anti-bullying message, and that's mm-hmm. why he's live in the Star Studios today is because he's going right down the street to Hannah Beardsley, which I'm sure all the students there are excited to have you there, but it's for a serious cause, and bullying is something that really has come to the forefront probably in the last maybe three to five years, and yeah. we talk about online bullying and uh, bullying, you know, straight up just person to person at schools. So what will you, you be addressing specifically at Hannah Beardsley today? Um, one of the main things I want to get across is that, you know, like you said, how pervasive bullying is, and it touches nearly everybody. I mean, three out of every four kids have been bullied, and like 99% of kids have witnessed bullying. And, you know, like you said, too, now there's cyberbullying. I remember when I was growing up, you know, I would get bullied at school. You know, you got, David Otonga got, you got bullied? Yeah, and that's one of the things I'm going to tell the students is I'm going to tell my personal story about I used to get bullied pretty bad, you know, and then how I coped with it. But one of the things was when I got home, once I was at home, I was safe. Nowadays, kids aren't even safe at home because of cyberbullying. Like, yeah, it's online. Avoid, yeah. And there's people that create accounts, and sometimes parents even get involved with it. With yeah, kids it's too. crazy. So it is. So so you were bullied in school? I, w- I, just, I was. You, know, you have a WWE wrestler in front of you, Tina Bree. You don't think about this is a guy. He's a pretty big dude and a really smart dude, and you got bullied in some way. So did you have an outlet? Did you say something um, to someone when this was happening? Because you'll be talking about that yeah i sure will yeah. well ultimately it was one of my favorite teachers who uh helped me out like he noticed i'd become really okay. withdrawn and you know kind of down and wasn't myself and uh you know mm. he came and talked to me and ended up talking with the guys who were picking on me and uh things kind of sorted themselves out after that but it was him intervening that was such a great oh, thing man i got like goosebumps right now because like your greatest fear as a parent and you being a dad yeah. david otonga is with us wwe wrestler and one of your greatest fears is that that happens because it shouldn't happen we right. know it's tough enough to be a kid let alone a teenager these yeah. days and to be a teenager these days and peer pressure and you mm-hmm. want to want to be popular we've all gone through that right and, and look in hindsight someone such as yourself that was bullied to take your time and to talk to kids specifically it It'll be very impressionable for them. I guarantee that. I remember we had motivational speakers come to my school, Addison Trail, down in the Burbs. And mm-hmm. I remember most of them, too, and the messages that they delivered. So I think it's awesome that you're going to be right here in Crystal Lake today. Cool. It's thank cool, you. man. So you're going to be talking about, you're going to deliver this anti-bullying message today, uh, talking to the students. And, you know, it's such a great thing. The Facebook thing, to me, is a really big deal because it yeah. does. It follows you home. Yeah. And, and kids don't. Are you going to address what kids should do if they're being bullied as part of this message today? Uh, I am going to talk about that a little bit, like how to cope with it, and especially in terms of like cyberbullying. Mm-hmm. You know, like nowadays with Facebook and Twitter, people post something on your wall for everybody else to see or pass around these messages. And one of the things I tell students is, um, don't you know continue it? Don't forward any messages. Don't respond Stop to any messages. Stop the cycle. Stop the yeah, cycle. So to exactly. speak. Okay. And definitely block people who are sending you you know mean messages. And have you noticed with speaking at schools and David Otunga is here, WWE wrestler. We're going to chat more in just a couple of minutes. But have you noticed that schools now are very proactive about, about bullying since it's come to the forefront? I've noticed with the district my son is in. I mean, they take that stuff super serious, but kids are going to be kids and it's still going to happen but it's just trying to stop that cycle yeah I think that no matter what you do there's always going to be bullying 
but it's a matter of creating enough awareness so things don't get out of hand. I mean, I've heard some terrible stories recently of some suicides as a result of bullying. I know there was and, one right here in Crystal Lake, and I yeah. think that's part of the reason that you, you know, you're here to deliver this message. And this young lady that we heard about in the news, you know, 14 years yeah. old, Cynthia Rodriguez. Can you imagine and, that? And it's, yeah. it's heartbreaking to think that a child felt the only way out was to take their own life because oh, people were picking on them and they just couldn't get away from it. It really is. It's heartbreaking. And then for the family to have to cope yeah. with that as well. So you need to relay that message that it, there's other avenues you can pursue. You certainly don't want to devastate your family. you got to just get that message across, this anti-bullying message. David Otonga here, WWE wrestler. Tina, we're going to chat with him more. I know we got a bunch of questions because Tina's like, <laughs> Tina is a bigger wrestling fan than I am, bro. So I am. It's we'll very True. I'll put it that way. She's got. She's a big fan of John Cena, but I don't want to. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, so, how dare yeah, you? yeah. Yeah. Look. Look. I, it, first off, man, a guy that wears jean shorts all the time. I mean, that's come on. Well, now he switched to cargo shorts. Is it, did he switch? Did he? Yeah. Finally occasionally switch? camo shorts. Yes, that's true. And you got David Otunga here. The guy's a lawyer from Harvard. Look how he's dressed. I don't even know. Do you have to shop at like a special store for guys with muscles or what? Uh. Exactly. Because he's got today. He's got on this purple shirt with the vest, and he's got a purple bow tie on. We'll post some pictures up on our Facebook. Tweet them out. You can follow at Star1055. You can find David Otunga on there, too. We'll chat more with him in just a few here on Star.